Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Welcome doctors to my lecture. We are studying pulmonology. Today we will discuss an important topic related to oxygen transport that is oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. A very happy Ramadan Mubarak to all Muslims. Oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is graphical representation of partial pressure of oxygen taken along x-axis and hemoglobin saturation in percentage taken along y-axis. The shape of the curve is sigmoidal or S-shaped. The curve may be shifted either towards right or towards left. The right shift of the curve shows decrease oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so there is increased oxygen unloading in tissues. While the left shift of the curve shows increased oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so there is decreased oxygen unloading in tissues. Now we will discuss the shifting of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. The shifting of curve may be either towards right or towards left. The right shift of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shows decreased oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so there is increased oxygen unloading in tissues. This occurs in exercising muscles in which carbon dioxide is actively produced resultantly proton concentration increased and pH becomes low. Also in exercising muscles the concentration of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate increases due to glycolysis and temperature also increases. All these factors shifts the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. The left shift of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shows increased oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so there is decreased oxygen unloading in tissues. This occurs in relaxing muscles in which partial pressure of carbon dioxide is low, proton concentration is low and pH is high, 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate is low and temperature is low. Carbon monoxide poisoning and fetal hemoglobin also shifts curve towards left side because of increased affinity of hemoglobin to oxygen in both these cases. Dear folks, let's take a little break and then we will proceed further in the lecture. Now we will discuss the P50 value. We will learn the definition and concept in detail. We will also see the change in P50 value in case of shifting of oxygen hemoglobin curve either towards right or towards left side. In normal oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve, the P50 value is 26.7. This means that in normal oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve, the partial pressure of oxygen at which hemoglobin is 50% saturated is 26.7 mm of mercury. The normal value of P50 is 30 or 26.7 mm of mercury. In case of right shift, the P50 value is greater than 26.7 that is 36 mm of mercury. In case of left shift, the P50 value is less than 26.7 that is 17 mm of mercury. Hello folks, now it's time to test your knowledge. Are you ready for a rapid quiz? Fasten your brain belts. Question. Which of the following shifts oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve to left? Options are A. Increase temperature. B. Increase carbon dioxide. C. Fetal hemoglobin. D. Increase H positive ions. Just a little brainstorming is required to get the answer. As the fetal hemoglobin has greater affinity for oxygen so the curve will shift towards left. So the correct option is C. Fetal hemoglobin. Question. In right shift of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve, the most likely value of P50 would be Option A 20, B 15, C 26.5 or D 35. Revise the lecture again and you will get to the correct answer. I know you have got the concept, just a little brainstorming is required. In right shift P50 value is greater than 26.7 that is 35. So the correct option is D. Question. Extreme left shift of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is seen in. 
Option A. Carbon monoxide, B. High altitude, C. Increased temperature or D. Fetal hemoglobin. A. Little concept is required in this question. When carbon monoxide binds to the heme of A. Hemoglobin, the oxygen affinity of rest of the heme portions of same hemoglobin molecule increases. As a result the curve shifts towards extreme left, so the correct answer is option A that is carbon monoxide.